Hello everyone, hope you're doing wonderful today. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be making the 3D flower with opaque pigments and mica powders. So let's get started. So I'm hoping you have watched my previous video on the step by step tutorial to make, make the 3D flowers. So I've skipped all those parts. You can click uh, the link about to watch the video again. It's been around 45 minutes and the resin has already thickened up. So I've poured around 60 grams of uh, clear resin in this uh, flower coaster. I've removed uh, 8 to 10 grams for my green opaque pigment and another 5 to 6 gram for the yellow mica powder. For 10 grams of resin, I'm taking a little bit of the green opaque pigment at the end of my popsicle stick and mixing this nicely with the resin. Now for the mica powder, again for 10 grams of resin, I am taking maybe half in this spoon, which is sort of similar to the quantity that I take for the opaque pigment at the end of the popsicle stick now since this is in the powder form uh, i'm making sure that it's re mixed really nicely with the resin you can see that the resin is uh, starting to become thick so it's time to make the design I'm just using the popsicle stick to make a design. You can use the piping method or uh, make a thin spout with the cup and uh, pour any design that you like. I've reached almost uh, the end of making the design and you can already see that from the first uh, first design that I made it's already starting to spread towards the middle the yellow mica powder is also spreading so you can make this design with mica powders too in general mica powders mix with resin gives a uh, shine to your work and more of a translucent look so i don't think it will add a lot of depth which is needed for the 3d flowers but um, i'm excited to demold this after 24 hours because uh, look at it it's been just 15 minutes since i started to pour and uh, everything has spread really really nicely so see you after 24 hours It's been 24 hours so time to demold and check it out. Oh look at that. First thoughts, you know the 3D look from the green followed by the shimmer from the yellow. On its own I feel uh, since the mica powder gives translucent look as you can see in one of the petals. It would not give you a lot of the 3D look, so you need to use it along with the um, opaque pigment. So I personally would use it along with at least one opaque, uh, opaque pigment, possibly white. 
you know against the white any other color would look great what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below so in the next video i am planning to make uh, the flower with metallic pigments not powder pigments and we're going to see whether this is it's going to be similar to the mica powders thank you so much for watching do subscribe comment like and share for more videos i'll see you soon in the next one